it's been a wonderful week of reflection about the theme that we're working with that I'm expanding upon today, love the true creator, right? In this past week and a half or so, it's been a very deep journey with love, with being present with it, with seeing it awaken in ever deeper ways in the people around me. It was really amazing. We came here on the 4th. Thank you for putting together a wonderful, uh, wonderful event for our community here. And it was so evident because I'd been meditating upon this about what we're doing here. <laughs> what we're doing here in our programs, I had this most beautiful conversation with one of our interns. I could see that love was guiding his experience, that he had surrendered to it. And what happens when we uh, allow love in, when we allow it to come into us? And it was so beautiful because in talking with him, he's like, yeah, you know, it's really weird. Like these things that I've been struggling with are just like falling away. And I'm seeing all these possibilities. I'm like, yes, yes, absolutely. That's what happens for us when we allow, when we turn to love. And what I'm talking about here, of course, is the highest love that lives within us, that lives within all things that is above us, below us, all around us, it's everywhere present. When we turn to that, something beautiful can happen for us. There is this opening up that allows us to create a whole new world. And I love that we're just touching in on this, what's happening in our world, right? We can feel it. We can feel what is happening. And at the same time, we feel what's possible, right? We can feel what's possible. And there's so much is out of our control, right? <laughs> there's so much that's out of the control. But what I know in my own experience in times like this, when there's so much uncertainty going on around, is to, again, once again, just kind of tune in, tune into that and see what's mine to do in my world with the people that I'm with right? It's a very simple message, but it's powerful because it spreads. It spreads like wildfire when we allow the fire of love to truly burn in us. It is so true in my experience that the things that um, maybe I thought weren't there, the love that wasn't present with different relationships, and in my own growth and evolution come to see it in whatever way, because I do believe that spirit brings it to us to remind us that love is always here. Love has always been there. And I love that because it reminded me of one of my favorite quotes from Ernest Holmes. I wanted to bring this today too, to honor a friend of mine, a mentor of mine in that tradition. She was very much a part of my awakening. And to honor the love that she was. that she embodied when she was here. It made a difference in my life. And truly in the lives of everyone that she touched. So for that, I'm gonna bring this quote from Ernest Holmes, which speaks so plainly to what we're talking about here. Here's the quote. Love is within us. It cannot be destroyed. It can be ignored. To the extent that we abandon love, we will feel it has abandoned us. Denying love is our only problem. And embracing it is the only answer. Through the power of love, we can let go of past history and begin again. Love heals, forgives, and makes whole. This is the absolute truth in my own knowing. 
my own knowing. I know this to be true. And whatever is happening in our world, this is the answer. And we can only bring the answer through our living, through our own expression. And so what I am just calling out, love's call is calling through me right now, is for each and every one of us to just continue to embrace this reality and express it. Our world needs it. Our country needs it. The wisdom of love. Thank you all so much.